In this video, we're now going to talk about how to mint some ordinals. So if you go on unisat.io and you go to BRC20 right here, and it's showing you a list of BRC tokens and their progression on minting here. So if it's showing you 100%, it means that this token has been fully minted. There's nothing left. Minting means people actually got it for free. So all these tokens are fully minted. You don't have to worry about them. Here it shows you the number of holders of how many people are holding this token. The higher the number, the better. It shows you a better distribution. Let's say if the number is one, it means that it's fake and it's a scam because it's only one person holding that token. And here it shows you the number of transactions and it also shows you the day that it started, the day of deployment when it got out okay so you can filter this by looking at in progress which means projects that are still minting right now but again it says fsat is minting but look at it it has the hold account of one so this is a bad project don't even bother about it and here it has holders so i can scroll down and start looking if there's anything worth it that is still minting and it also have the highest number of holders so i can also filter by holders to see if there is something worth it here okay uh nothing really interesting to me at all dodge m cool yeah all of these projects are not that impressive to me at all all right and we can also filter by progress to see if there's anything that's going on so for the sake of time and demonstration, I'm just going to, to mint something that maybe has a little bit of potential in it. So in this case, VEDA has the highest number of, uh, of orders, so I'll try to mint it. So if I want to mint, I will connect my Unisat wallet that I've shown you guys how to do. You can also use Xverse, Leather, OKX, or BK wallet, but Unisat wallet is what we're using. I will sign to log in and then if I want to mint I just click on mint directly all right so here you also can sort of see limit per mint it means that how many tokens can you mint for free here it says clearly 116 so if I want to mint I'll simply just go on mint directly tick is called VEDA the amount I want to mint is 116. It has already shown me that. And if I want to mint it multiple times, I can increase this number of mint, right? So it says the booster will be unavailable when the repeat mint is greater than 200. So it means that the maximum I can do is 200. So you have to be aware, the more you do this, the more fees you will pay. So if you want to pay less gas fees, let's just put it at one. It means I only mint this number. This is the multiplier. If you put it at two, it means it's this multiplied by two. So I'll go ahead and do that. And I'm minting 116 tokens. Next. Uh, don't remind me anymore. Understood. And then this is the amount of fees that I have to decide to pay. I can either go economy, normal, or custom to put my own gas limit. So I will just go with normal. And... I can submit invoice, uh, I'll check this box, I've read and agreed to the terms and risk warning, and then I can submit and pay invoice. And that's boom, that's done. Once that has been submitted, I can wait for, you know, maybe 30 minutes, then the token should be, the mint should be ready, available in my wallet. Now, it means that only until this has reached 100, it will now become unavailable for mint, and then the only way people can have this VEDA token will be from buying it from those who have already purchased it. And like you may know, um, Unisat also has a marketplace where you can buy stuff. So you can see coins like Track, Mice, BTS.com, Bitmap are actually available. On You can also trade names. Bitmap, Sats, BTC, Unisat are available on the marketplace. Let's say I want to buy some Track. I can just click on it. And look at the price people are selling. So mostly for those who minted, 
they would have a lot of tokens attached to one inscription. So like this is one, you're buying one inscription, but it has 1000 tokens inside it. So it's almost like a, a bundle, if you know what I'm saying. All right. So this is selling right now for $7,000 because one coin is selling at $7 at spot price. So if I want to buy this, I just click buy, confirm with my wallet, and then it's done. Because sometimes before the tokens are available on the larger popular exchanges, they are first available here. So when it's only available here, that's when you know that you're early also on the project. But obviously that's not universal. All right, I hope this helps you understand how to mint and also to buy. I will make a completely another tutorial on how to buy and sell them, but that's basically how it works. Thank you guys. I'll see you next time.